Micah Francis, y'all. Here we go. Check this out. Not my cup of tea. Had something to say about this. Make sure you go uh, give her a subscribe. She's pinned down in the description. Y'all, check this out. You guys ready? Let's go. You guys, just hear me out on this one. I know this sounds kind of wild, but people with this syndrome are actually very manipulative and very conniving. Munchausen syndrome by proxy is a mental health disorder where a person makes another person appear to have health issues, even if they aren't sick. This condition is also known as fictitious disorder imposed on another or hmm. fabricated or induced illness by carers. While MSPB is more commonly seen in mother-child relationships, it can also occur between adults, such as spouses. Does this sound familiar? Hmm. And like I said, nowadays it is known as factitious disorder imposed on another. So I guess I'm just wondering if this could be added to the list. It's certainly not the only thing on the list, but could this be something that Micah was a victim of? So when it comes to these emails oh, that John hell. Paul Miller produced in his 128 page affidavit, this is supposedly Micah reaching out to her doctor saying how she is so depressed. And guess what she brings up being on lithium, which this could be Micah and I don't want to be disrespectful in any way, but being on lithium and bringing that up sounds very reminiscent of something that John Paul Miller would um, say. And this could have easily been him uh, posing as Micah, as Micah said that he did many, many times. So I don't know about you guys, oh, but hell. at least for me these days, it's very hard getting through a video where I have to listen or look at John Paul Miller and his foolishness. It's just, it's very draining sometimes, but I did listen to the sometimes 911 calls. And what I did was clip out every time he mentioned uh, Michael's supposed mental health disorder. So take a listen to this. Oh, and new drinking game alert. Take a shot every time John Paul Miller says lithium. But if you really want to get toasty every time he says mental. Oh, hell. Do I need to go get a gin and tonic for this one? Okay, okay, okay. Well, um, uh, my, 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 my ex-wife just got out of the earth. My wife got out of mental to her and her dad trying to... Ex-wife's name. He just got the mental institute a few weeks ago, and uh, we have a court date coming up. He was there. Oh, this is the one where he was like, he's a dangerous man. She's not really her herself right now. She's, she's supposed to be taking lithium, and she hasn't been taking it. Okay. I love my wife, and I want her to be okay, and I'm trying to do what I can to get her to take her medicine and have her come home and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I had to file papers just for the safety of my children. And That's crazy. So I'm trying to get her to come home. Well, she's home. That's why you called. Why don't you answer the door? No! He's a dangerous man! She's doing frantic things because she has... What? ...been taking a medicine. It's not normally like this for her. She only does it about once a year. She's, she's mentally ill and doesn't, doesn't know what she's doing. She's just not well. She just got over the um, mental institute here at South Street about two weeks ago. Probate already sent a letter for her to meet on March 5th to be evaluated. Um, by a doctor, and they'll know by talking to her for more than two minutes that she's mentally ill. I have a happy marriage. She keeps a counter, y'all. She keeps adding the counter of how many times she's saying that mental or lithium. But she has to take the lithium. Oh, oh hell. hell. She's mentally ill that aren't normal. Whatever they need to say, I have all her mentally, um, her mental medicine, I have everything. She just keeps buying cars because she's 13 poor. times. She's going to get back on her medicine 14. and get well. Right. Uh, she's been in all uh, six mental institutes over the past several years. And, um, and they normally give her lithium and she gets out, she's fine. 17. So in that one 911 call, he mentions at least 15 times about Micah's supposed mental illness. What do you guys think about this connection?